Hi, I'm Scott from Beat Neighbor Fertilizer. Today we are gonna be talking about watering. And I've got all kinds of hanging baskets here, but this, this really applies to any of your containers, your combo planters, uh, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be hanging baskets. So watering is one of those really critical care components. And as a greenhouse owner, it, it's one of those things that we have to express to our customers is you have to get your watering correctly. So, what is that? You know, my customers say, okay, I'm, I'm buying this hanging basket, how do I water it? And there's not a direct answer of, oh, just, just give it 10.3 ounces of water. And I know some of you are real analytical and you would do that day in, day out, but think about it, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a moving target, okay? Uh, just like, um, gee, I'm thirsty, okay? And, ha, uh, huh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of water. I'm gonna quench my thirst with this water, right? Now, that's the way to do it. What I don't do, I don't walk into the kitchen and grab a five gallon bucket and try to down five gallons of water, okay? I wouldn't do that because I can't possibly, I would drown myself. But sometimes people do that to their hanging baskets, all right? They just, and, and there's, there's some terrible advice out there, okay? Of, uh, you have people telling you, well, just take this hanging basket and you just water it until it drips out the bottom. That's terrible advice because if you do that, if you keep on doing that, you're, gonna, you're going to rot the roots, all right? It, it, it's okay if that happens once in a while, and it happens to me too, and I give it a little bit too much water and, and, and it can drain out, and that's, that's the purpose. It, 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 it's all open at the bottom. But if you do that day in and day out, you will end up rotting those roots and, and, and killing your hanging basket. So the mentality that you wanna get into is my job is to give this hanging basket or this container, I need to give it just what it needs to get to tomorrow, all right? I'm just going to water it enough to take it to tomorrow. Just like I don't eat for the entire week, I'm not gonna try to water it for the month, okay? I'm just gonna try to take and care for it and get it till tomorrow morning. Give it enough water so it's not dripping out the bottom, but it's adequately wet all the way through, consistently that, that soil is moist all the way through, but not so much that it's dripping out the bottom, all right? And, and the absolute best way for you to tell is to lift it, to pick that container up and, and you know, you're, you're gonna have to do a little playing around to see how much you know, it takes how much water it takes to get that container adequately uh, watered. <clears throat> but once you do, and you can, you can like, okay, it's wet, it's it's fine. I I can skip watering today, or it oh, it's it's really light. I'm gonna have to water it. You know, I've got maybe 1,400 hanging baskets in here, and every day I have to go through and I have to lift them up. That's the best way that I can tell. And and even if you have the same same hanging baskets sometimes one plant will go into a grow mode and it starts growing and it's, and it's drawing a lot more moisture. While the one sitting next to it is maybe met, went into a little more of a dormant stage and he's not using the water. So the best, the best way is to go ahead and lift those hanging baskets or those containers. That's the, that's the absolute best way that you can um, assure yourself that, okay, that's getting enough water. That's the point that I want it. Now, you, you want to water in the morning, okay? It, it, it's okay once in a while, you know, if you see that, oh, that my hanging basket needs some water and it's, it's seven o'clock at night, it's okay once in a while. If, if it needs to go ahead and give it a drink. Just don't get into that habit of, you know, I'm coming home from work, I'm having dinner, and then I'm gonna go take care of my plants and flowers. You don't wanna water at night because it's going to stay wet all night long, okay? The reason that you water in the morning is then that plant can have a chance to dry down and get you to tomorrow morning when you might have to water again, okay? So that's water in the morning, water it so it's not dripping through. Go ahead and lift it and say, okay, that's about, that's about the weight that it should be. Um, you have to think about the different sizes of your containers. This is a eight inch hanging basket, 10 inch hanging basket, 12 inch hanging basket. You know, going from here to here, this is twice the soil volume. Going from the 10 inch to the 12 inch, this is 
twice the soil volume of the 10 inch. And any day, any day of the week, I would much rather a bigger container, bigger hanging basket. They're actually a lot less work than the small containers. The small containers are, they're a lot more work because it's a hot day, it's a, it's a windy day, or there's no humidity. This container is gonna dry down four times faster than this container. This container, you might have to water it a couple times a day. You have to check it. So, you know, especially if you're if you're a working class person, you know, that's that's one of the things I, I ask my my greenhouse customers. You know, they come up to me and they they've got an eight inch hanging basket. I'm like, well, you know, you you work 30 miles down the road. Are you going to come home to water your hanging basket if it's a real hot day? And they're like, well, no, not a chance. You know, don't don't go with the eight inch hanging basket. Go with the the bigger hanging baskets because it's it's actually a lot less work you know the 12 inch hanging basket you know that it, it has that soil volume that it can it can easily last the day so you know consider that that's that's just something that um as far as care going to the bigger containers the bigger hanging baskets and that's true in if you're making up some big um planters the more the more soil that you have it, it's it's actually a lot less work so I hope those, those tips and tricks, I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you and maybe take some of the mystery out of watering uh, your plants and flowers. Again, we have, we have a lot of information on our beatyourneighbor.com website. Uh, be sure to check it. We've, we've got a blog, we've got how-to videos. So a lot of these videos will be on there, um, your plant care. Uh, so go ahead and check it out. It's beatyourneighbor.com.